Hello viewers, well, today we are in Clyde Bank of course, as you can see that crane behind me I think it's called Titan. So yeah, we're going to show you up around Clyde Bank and we're going to show you this centre. So we're coming around along this, along this road and these are all like flat buildings. Now these are actually quite modern and these are probably quite nice to live in. And that is a care home. No, that's an office building. Care home is the other way. And then look, there's the town centre over there. We're going to walk over there in a moment. Clyde Bank Funeral Directors. You know, I usually see a lot of people there. Um, well, not a lot, but you know, like people with black top hats and things standing outside. And then black funeral cars. So yeah, that's the funeral directors. Some more apartment buildings. So we're walking along this road, you've got the station deli, the Hollywood Nails and Spa, there's an Alexander's pub, but you know I've never actually been in there before, but I don't know, maybe it's quite potent. Now we're getting into the main bit, Clyde, you've got the Iceland, Trespass, B&M, Dunelm, Wilco, Home Bargains, JD, and this is actually a co-op, I know it doesn't look like it. But this shop is actually a co-op. And as we keep going along, there's a Greg's. There's the vape shop over there. I'll show you. Oh yeah, that's the co-op in there. And there's the cash generators. You know, if you want a cheap Xbox, you can go and get yourself one in there. There's the Iceland I was talking about. There's the Paddy Power, which is gambling. I don't know if it's just for Celtic fans. Probably not, it's probably for anyone. This is the Village Market. You can get some really good discount vapes in here, just in that glass in there. They also have some nice food in there as well. Although it's, like, it's quite cheap, but it's actually quite good, yeah. They've got some good stuff. I might not be able to show all of that on YouTube because it might strike me, which I don't really want. Now we're going to enter the Clyde Bank Shopping Centre and yeah, it's literally called the Clyde. The, you know, you got a good uh, Celtic shop in here. I need to show you that. So as we go in, you can see uh, Dunelm, Poundland. One in below, you know, it's a bit weird. You have two cheap shops right next to each other. I mean, what else could you want? TJ Hughes, I've actually been in there and it's a bit boring if I'm honest. I wouldn't recommend it. You've got some relaxing shaitasu massage. You know, I've never heard of that word in my life, but you can pay to sit on these and it gives you a good back massage, I think. I've never done it, but. And there's another nail salon. Getting the nails done in there. As we walk along here, you've got a JD in there. Not as big as the one in Glasgow, but you can go and get yourself some pretty nice gear. Body care. I'm guessing that's like bath bombs and shit, I don't know. I'm not really a fan. There's also another Greg's here as well. Another Greg's B&M. That one's quite a big one, actually. Surprising for this small shopping centre. This is like a proper shopping centre unlike Govan or Drum Chapel, that's a good example. Drum Chapel. Oh, I meant to show you the Celtic shop. I'll go back and do that in a minute. And as we go out, there's a home bargains there. And this is the way out. Now, we're going to get into maybe some junky territory. Um, oh no, this isn't the right way, it's this way. That takes you into a multi-storey car park. And there's another sign up there for Clyde Bank for the shopping centre. And we're going to go down this way, Asda. I'll show you Asda, why not? So this is the famous Clyde Bank Asda. You know, maybe if you come here at night, you see some wee gangsters hanging around the Asda. I, I, me, you know what I mean? <laughs> As we go through this tunnel, I remember this tunnel used to used to light up, but I don't think it lights up. No, no, I think it does at night, actually. It's 
tunnel lights up. And you know, there's usually like homeless people under there. And then we're getting into the other retail park, Singers. I do not remember it being called Singers. There's a KFC. What? Oh shit! Hang on. The KFC is closed, look. Oh, there's no more KFC. Well, I did hear it was shutting down. Look, the sign's gone. I mean, that KFC, the food was dreadful. You know, the chicken was so chewy. No wonder it got closed down. <laughs> but the chicken, at least they kept the chicken on it. And then there's B&M and things. You know, I think I'm gonna go over there in another video and I'll show you in another video. We're gonna go back this way. We're gonna go back through the McDonald's. The Omniplex Cinema, even though it used to, for a long time, was called Empire Cinemas. You know, I have no idea why they changed the name of that. Although I haven't been in since it's been, oh no, I have been in here. Yeah. And then you've also got a cafe attached to it as well. And here is the McDonald's, you know, you find a lot of junkies in there sometimes, especially after the film. I mean, I've certainly seen it. It's actually quite a big McDonald's, actually. You've got the really cool game store. I used to go in there so much when I was younger. Not so much now, only when my controllers break, I just go in there and get a new one. The ones that are wired, because they're quite cheap. Now I'm actually going into one pound and below store, and I'm going to get some Doritos. The ch tangy cheese is my favourite one. Though I do like the original ones. I've never really had the hot ones. Oh, so by the way, that guy is always playing his accordion by the river. Shame people just pass him. I don't spare him. Spare change. Now as we walk back down here, yo, know, it actually seems pretty empty. I'm not even lying. There's usually like loads of people walking up down here. There's usually junkies there like smoking or whatever they do. There's actually like nobody there. Although, we can take a look at the Ladbrokes if you want. So that's the Ladbrokes in Clybank. Uh, gambling is bad guys, don't do gambling. You can get into a lot of shit from doing that. There's also the Barbers there as well. I've never actually been in there either. Candy Box, I have no idea why it's called the Candy Box. When it's basically just an ordinary local, local show. Like, so the shipyard is a really good pub. I have been in there before and it is really good. And there's Clyde Bank train station up there and a bus. Yeah, I do get buses back from here. And I never see that Papa John's open. It only opens at, at, at the evening. So we're coming along this road. Sorry about the wind, guys. Um, dance off. I've never seen it. Blaring bright. I never actually come down this street, I'll be honest. I'm not sure of this one. I'm so sorry guys, we'll go somewhere where there's less wind. But I thought that there was maybe a tattoo shop down here. Oh no, there is, yeah. Let me just say, this is the Chandelier's Pub. Live sports and food. You can probably go and watch Celtic games or whatever. I've been in there. It actually is quite comfy seats. And over there, takes you to Dalmuir. Now these things are like reflective. Um, no, yes, reflective. But I don't really know what all these names are on them. Are they like famous people in Clyde Bank? I actually have no idea. Sorry, my hair looks awful by the way. Don't look at my hair. <laughs> and along here is like the main bus terminal. I was really hoping to catch some good activity today. But today's a really boring day to be in Clyde Bank. No junkies, nothing happening. It's like really boring. And this is another housing place, probably council houses. I'm on the hoops, by the way, I'm on the hoops. Um, these people have got some nice lights. I think they forgot that it's not Halloween anymore. But yeah, we have got to admire that. Um, I think I have the same, oh, I have the same one actually in my room. Someone's going to have a seizure from that light. It's blinking constantly. Let's zoom out again. And this will take you back to the main road again. Although we'll go the other way. And then there's some more councillors, houses and things. Don't forget guys, this isn't actually the end. I'm going to be in Clyde Bank quite a lot anyway. So there's going to be way more coming. 
and hopefully I'll make I'll find some better activity to upload. Um, but this is just a wee showcase of Clyde Bank. I'm going to be doing Yoker White Crook. I'll actually do White Crook in another video. But this is just Clyde Bank. Oh, and that's the college over there. So guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Don't worry, there'll be more coming soon. I might, I'm going to think I'm going to go to Glasgow today, so I might do a wee bit in Glasgow. Nah, I might do that another day. But thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like. Please sub to my channel, put the notification bell on. Then you'll never miss an upload. And yeah, this has been the Clyde Bank video. I actually need to find out a thumbnail. But yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And have a good day, guys.